Hi and welcome, I'm Jean Lima, editor of Data Economy, and here with me I've got Charles Lee, founder and CEO of One Asia Network. Uh, Charles, thanks a lot for talking to me. What are the main data center trends you're seeing in the Chinese market today? Uh, I think uh, the mm. China market mm. nowadays uh, mm. um, mainly will be uh, more uh, acceptance of the public cloud mm. uh, business uh, rather than uh, mm. public cloud. Mm. Because uh, in China, um, the enterprise mm. and the individuals, uh, they are more mm. acceptance uh, to use uh, the uh, mm. public cloud solutions. Okay. So um, means that uh, in uh, the business model in China for mm. the cloud business is that two main stream one is the uh, mm. uh, public cloud with the hybrid mm. systems. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and then when it comes to barriers to adoption, uh, for example, we knew that uh, public cloud was a bit of a barrier to Chinese companies. So that's changing now. What other sort of barriers are you seeing? So is it like adopting a hybrid strategy, some sort of barriers that you're still seeing with some customers or? In fact, in China, yeah. I think uh, the, mm. um, the hurdle for the foreign companies mm. to go into this market, mm. I think is the licensing issue. Okay. So mm. um, you have got the uh, mm. uh, government approval before mm. uh, you uh, providing the service in mm, China. Mm, uh, I think it's a, a one of the major mm, uh, hurdles mm, for mm, the um, foreign company invest mm, in China mm, for mm, cloud market. Mm, okay. Yeah. And then when it comes to a company in China like yourself, so running data centers and providing cloud businesses, yeah. uh, how do you work with the government? How does it work in terms of legislation, regulation? Um, how does a company like you work with the Chinese government? Uh, thank you for the, uh, yeah. um, the, the his, mm. hi, historical issue. Mm. Uh, mm. We are the uh, Hong Kong, yeah. but uh, now mm. it uh, belongs to China. Yeah. So uh, we are more mm. Um, mm. Uh, um, uh, easy. Mm. We, we come easier mm. for us uh, to uh, uh, talk to the uh, mm. government mm. officials. Mm. And they are also welcome to Hong Kong mm. um, as the beach. To mm. the international mm. uh, companies, mm. um, and also uh, want us uh, to introduce mm. uh, more mm. foreign company come mm. into the China. Mm. So uh, we have become mm. uh, the uh, uh, this a gateway mm. to them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, so looking ahead, looking to the future, what are the plans for One Asia? So you're going to build more data centers. You're going to expand your services. You, Will you go out of China, for example? Because you're called One Asia, so that's the yes. whole region. <laughs> In fact, these are our mm. uh, uh, ambitions. Mm. Uh, First, uh, we uh, mm. have a headquarter in Hong Kong, mm. and then we now uh, put more uh, effort in building mm. data centers uh, across the country mm. in China. Mm. So now uh, we are, uh, have uh, two mm. uh, big data centers in mm. Shanghai mm. and uh, Nantong. Mm. Yeah. Um, mm. Shanghai one is uh, talking about mm. have, uh, 3,000 racks, mm. and then in Nantong uh, is about uh, 12,000 racks okay. uh, in phase one. Mm. And then finally, uh, we'll have uh, uh, 60,000 racks mm. uh, in phase two. These okay. are uh, play a big uh, okay. um, uh, campus, okay. data center campus yep. over there. Then uh, we will go to south part of uh, China mm. as well, mm. in Guangdong, okay. uh, yeah, uh, and the west part in the China. Mm. Anything around Shenzhen? Uh, Shenzhen and uh, yep. Chengdu, okay. uh, these are also our mm. target. Mm. And of course, uh, uh, today we uh, joined mm. this uh, um, uh, event. Mm. Uh, also, we're trying to Five mm. ways coming into the South Asia as well. Okay, so yeah. South Asia being Singapore, Malaysia, Singapore, Malaysia, okay. uh, Vietnam. Mm. Okay. Uh, of course, oh. uh, one of the uh, major uh, mm. uh, countries mm. we call uh, Indonesia. Is, okay. Uh, uh, lots of people. Yeah, lots yeah. of people talking about mm. that. Mm. I think it's uh, one of the. Uh, so, uh, the so point. just to quickly finish, what sort of services could you offer their com competitors already sitting in Indonesia? Uh, offering. So how would you differentiate your offering from those guys already there? In fact, um, uh, compared mm. with uh, our mm. um, um, competitors mm. in, in Indonesia, I think mm. uh, our uh, mm. infrastructure, mm. uh, the level is uh, 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 mm. go, go to the mm. international standard mm. Mm. and also the SLA mm. uh, is okay. very important uh, mm. to the, uh, um, mm. the uh, enterprise mm. and the bank, uh, banking mm. uh, industries. Mm. And also we have uh, um, comprehensive uh, cloud mm. management mm. service mm. Uh, can provide it to our mm. users as well. Mm. I think uh, we spend more than five years uh, to develop this uh, management mm. skill for the cloud. Mm. Uh, so I think uh, mm. we can uh, ahead mm. uh, the competitions. Mm. And then let's imagine that you have a data center now in Indonesia. Will that make it easier for companies in Indonesia, so international companies, to actually work their way into China? than if they were hosting with someone else outside of China. Uh, how easy would it be to make the link between Indonesia and China 
for companies sitting at the, the Indonesia data center? In, in fact, I think um, mm. uh, why we have an uh, uh, intention to go to mm. Indonesia or mm. South Asia, mm. I think it's uh, come from the mm. demand uh, mm. for Chinese enterprise okay. uh, want to expand mm. their business mm. in uh, the mm. world globally. Mm. So okay. uh, one of uh, um, mm. uh, the major um, the mm. demand is come from Chinese. Mm. So I think mm. we have uh, advantages mm. because mm. Uh, no matter the language, uh, mm. way of uh, to to, be, uh, to do business, mm. uh, we can. Uh, uh, things are huge. Yeah, 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 more easier. Mm. 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 Yeah. Okay, Charles. Thanks a lot for talking to me. Uh, don't forget you can follow Data Economy on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and also visit the website on www.data-economy.com. 